So first I want to show you how big this fiddle leaf fig tree is. It reaches almost all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> it's almost there. Uh, it's making new leaves all the time. I don't believe that the stem had enough time to harden. So I'm going to have to cut it lower than I would have liked because I was letting it grow so that I could cut it. But after watching all the videos, I found out that I would have to cut it um, where it has hardwood already so that I can propagate it if I want to propagate it. Obviously, that is the reason why I am taking a cutting from it. Of course, other than the obvious reason, the reason that it's too long. Uh, but I was hoping that I could have the branch start around right there, uh, but that's not gonna be the case. I have to cut it super low and you'll see. So I have, I brought these uh, moppers over here because I have no idea where my pruners are. I must have, I don't know, left them in the garden. I never had this happen to me. I've always put my pruners back. I always put everything back after I'm done working. So I don't know. I don't know how this happened to me. I'll have to walk around the garden uh, after the snow melts uh, because that's what it looks like. It's melting. So it, we, this has been the weirdest winter. You get snow and then it melts right away. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I'll have to find my, my pruners. I also have an alcohol swab over here. I'm going to be cloning, cloning. <laughs> I'm going to be cleaning the loppers with. <laughs> I'm going to be cloning. Okay. I don't want any bacteria or anything like that to get to the stem because we're making a cut in it and it's gonna bleed and also fiddle leaf figs have a an irritant in their sap they from they emit this uh, white sap from them when you cut them so uh, you can wear gloves to stop the sap from hurting you uh, so uh, I don't have any gloves right now on me. I'm just going to try to be careful. I'll, I probably should get something to clean up with in case if I had a um, something drip up somewhere. But it's okay. I have water everywhere over here. <laughs> We're inside. <laughs> um, I also have this um, root hormone um, and it has vitamin B1 also which is supposed to aid in uh, promoting uh, root growth so I'm gonna be dipping it in it it has instructions on it uh, I forgot what the instructions say I probably should read them but oh that's exactly what I was what I was thinking of doing but it says to okay so it says to dip the base of the cuttings in full strength Hormex for three to five minutes before planting in soil or other grow medium. So I'm not going to be planting it in the soil because everyone that I've seen propagates it in water. Uh, so I filled the bottom of this uh, vase over here with some water and I'm going to dip the Hormex in it and I'll just do a quick dip and dip the Hormex in it. I'm going to dip the fiddle leaf and the Hormex and I'm going to put it in the vase. So let's go ahead and cut this fiddle leaf. Um, I don't want to open this because I don't want any kids getting hurt until I'm ready. So let's go ahead. Alright, so there are a lot of leaves on this side over here and it is hard. So to make the plant branch out, uh, you want to cut it right above a leaf node and I do want the plant to branch out um, and right now it is leaning as well because of all the weight on top so I think I do want to have a little bit more hardwood in the bottom unfortunately I'm gonna be cutting it like down to here so let's go ahead where my finger is I don't know if you guys can see but you'll see once I cut it Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay. Let's do this. This is painful, honestly. I, I mean, this has to happen. It has to happen. Come on. 
You and I, we can do this. Okay. So obviously, I would have to take all these leaves over here. Look at those healthy leaves. I'd have to take them all out. So I'm going to be taking one, two, three, about one, two, three, four, five leaves. I mean, look at this leaf over here. Can you see, guys? <laughs> uh, obviously, it's loving its life over here. I got this plant on sale for $16. It was about, what was, yeah, I think it was about the height that I just cut it to. Uh, maybe like right here when I first got it. And yeah, I think it was about right here. Yeah. And it put on all this growth. <gasps> so I'm going to propagate it and I'm, that's how you make it branch out. <laughs> My son is like about to faint. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because that's how you make it branch out so that it, it looks more like a tree because right now it's just growing like a big stem mm -hmm. and I want to have another one for the living room. That's why. Okay, <laughs> okay so I need to remove these leaves. Uh, I think I'm going to use a pruner's careful, Gabriel, because this uh, actually emits a sap from it and it's I don't want... Poisonous. Yes. It can poison your skin. And then you yes, it would give you a rash, sort of like poison ivy. So. Well, I'm not allergic to poison ivy. Right. Um, actually, yeah, you are. But I'm not right. allergic Let's to see how. Can you hold it for me, please, so that I can fix the camera? Thank you. Don't, 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 don't shove it in. <laughs> don't do that. No, no, no. Just leave it on top so that it drips its sap over there. There you go. I'm gonna have you continue to hold it. So you're going to be my assistant so that I can cut the leaves off, okay? You know what? I think a scissor might do better than this huge lopper. Yeah, yeah let me get the scissor. Don't touch it because it has the um, sap from the tree. Oh, okay. One. Oh, this is hurting my heart. Three. Look at this, guys. Look at these leaves. Gigantic. They're bigger than my head. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> They're so beautiful. I wish I could like dry them or do something with them because I feel so bad cutting them off. You could make them more and then you could sell them, right? Can't you just make it those leaves cuttings? No. Okay. That would work, right? It fits in, right? Yeah. Yep, so touching the bottom. I think I'm gonna have to put some more water down there. Uh, but be careful, you don't wanna touch this stuff, sweetie. That would hurt you really bad, okay? So I'm gonna take the hormex over play. here. Can you play you? No. No. Because I'm holding Okay. I'll add some more water after I finish with this process. So um I'm expecting that wherever there was a leaf, it would root because naturally that sh <laughs> because naturally naturally that's how it is for most most plants. Wherever you have a leaf node, when you take it off, that's where the plant puts its roots at. Uh, so I'm gonna dip it in. There we go. Come on. Good job. <laughs> okay, and then. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it in here for a little bit and uh, count, and maybe like I don't know, a minute. One, two, three. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna pull it out now. I don't know. Probably left it in there maybe about like half a minute or less. I dropped some stuff in there. No big deal. I'll get that out I'll get it in a little bit. Okay. So I will have to fill this with a little more water so that all those notes are touching the water. Uh, 
but I think this is good. I'll have to kind of pull you guys a little bit away so that you can see the whole thing. So this looks amazing and I really hope it does work out. Um, I will keep you guys updated on this uh, because uh, this is my first time doing anything like this and I'm really nervous. I really want it to work. Uh, so uh, let's all pray for the fiddle leaf fig. <laughs> um, I really want it to work. I love this plant. I love it. I'm so proud of it. It did so well for me. So um, I'm going to... Um, I really hope that the one behind it that's hidden right now... There you go. That's better. Now you can see them both. So I really hope that this one is going to branch out and look beautiful. Uh, I'm just sad that now it looks like this. It's like a blob of nothing. And the bottom leaves that I got from the store were... Well, the bottom leaves, when I first got it from the store, it had a, a lot of uh, damaged leaves on it. And I still have some of those leaves on it. Some of them did drop off. And the ones that I just let them drop off on their own. I did not take the leaves off by myself. Maybe I took one out, I think. But anyway, so I still have a few of those leaves on it. And uh, I'll just continue to feed it and fertilize it like usual. Um, and see how it does. I give it a fertilizer between, depending on how I feel like, either once a week or once a month. Uh, for in the summer it actually went a long period of time without any fertilization just because I was super busy outside um, but I mean look at it it's yeah obviously it did great so all right this was uh, my thrift haul slash plant haul slash now I have a sap on me and I need to wash my hand uh, slash fiddle leaf cutting <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful in any way and uh, I hope you guys will come back and watch more of my videos I post twice a week at least I try I don't know if I'll be able to st stick to my schedule all the time but I do try and I want to thank you all for those of you who do follow me and watch all the time thank you so much and for those of you who are new thank you for joining this channel and if you are new here and you like this type of content I do a lot of gardening videos uh, that's what my channel is mainly focused on so uh, if you like gardening you can go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications of whenever I upload new videos and uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.